pork, beef, poultry. Why do we eat certain animals? And why those? Why do we eat pork, beef and poultry, but not dog meat? I am sorry, but we do eat dogs, also rats, and we eat guinea pigs. We eat seals. Yes, yes, I understand, but uh, we don't eat beef because uh, cows are sacred in India. Oh yes, and uh, Islam and Judaism consider swine unclean. So we do not eat pork. Enough. There is an invisible belief system conditioning us to eat certain animals. What? What is this about an invisible belief system? <laughs> you really think that almost 8 billion humans on Earth truly believe that Sirloin is born in a clank film? Do we only eat meat because we don't know that pork was once as much a living animal as a fake little doggy? And um, where was this invisible belief system when humans lived in caves? Hidden behind a rock? Or uh, where was this invisible belief system when Jesus fed the multitude with fishes hidden in the pleats of his clothes? for this, my son, we were conditioned. So, uh, there were no evolution, no creation. We are just uh, born into our wonderful megalopolises. Welcome by evil society that conditions us to eat meat, hiding the simple truth. If we are to enjoy our succulent drumsticks, the poor little pink pony must Sure, I know. There are places on Earth where the average livestock is a chihuahua and a pit bull is more like Godzilla than a pet. But I'm afraid most people around the globe will love the rest of the toad that we only eat meat because we don't know that a living animal died for it. Many people still keep animals around the house with the intent of eating them. In many places, people still hunt their daily food. And yes, children who live there are aware of the process. Welcome to the real world. We eat all kinds of animals, depending on where we live and what religion and traditions guide us. Okay, but we mostly consume pork, beef and poultry and dairy products from cow's milk. Yes, uh, you know, Modern livestock agriculture prefer productivity. Okay. How long does it take to raise a pig or a cow or a dog? And how much protein can you get from them? I hope this much is clear. Dog meat is a lean bite. And a chicken? A chicken becomes a diverse sooner than a dog. And don't forget that dogs are carnivores. To raise dogs for slaughter, we first need to raise pigs or cattle to feed them. Furthermore, a cow won't go to the house if we eat our dog. And milk? Why do we drink cow's milk, but not pig milk? Searching on Google, you find the answer in the first 10 results. Oh. Okay, sluggard. I'll tell you why. This is also about productivity. Cows have a high yield and are easier to milk. And don't forget that we do actually consume milk and dairy products also from goat, sheep, yak, water buffalo. Again, it depends on where we live. Okay, but isn't it unhealthy to eat meat, eggs, and dairy? There are almost 8 billion humans on Earth. How come 
We haven't just gone extinct millennia ago if a diet is so harmful. In many places, eating meat is the way to survive. At the same time, do you know the carbon footprint of container shipping your favorite avocado 10,000 miles to the nearest supermarket? And what about wildlands? I know what you are thinking. That most plants offer their fruits for us to eat. We don't need to take their life for it. And tell me, what would an Eskimo think about this? Ah, the trees! The trees! Where are the trees? As I said, our diet varies by region, religion and tradition. Some places, due to scarcity of resources, they dig incised larvae out of the ground. Elsewhere, cured meat is the only way to survive winter. And uh, on the topic of wildlands. Paving a road across the woods, I mean a six-lane highway, to get our destination faster, is that normal, natural and necessary? Only because we can't hear the trees screaming, nor see them shed tears and blood? Is it normal, natural and necessary to build a city in a place other creatures already inhabit? If they run away at the sound of approaching bulldozers, does that make it right? Is it normal, natural and necessary to kill animals with megatons of plastic we use to package our food if ocean waves hide their agony from our eyes. I fully agree that modern industrialized livestock agriculture is cruel and causes a lot of unnecessary pain. Unfortunately, demand breeds supply. Supermarket shelves can be empty and products must be cheap because customers leave if they don't find what they need at a good price. To meet the demand, Industry must produce more and be highly cost effective. This leads to the cruelty we see in the industry these days. But uh, this wasn't always the case, and still isn't so everywhere. Farmers who didn't go industrial still know exactly which animal to cut and when. They don't waste life because they fully comprehend its value. Those who still hunt their daily food might seem uncivilized from a big city vantage point, but at least they can live in harmony with their surroundings. And uh, one more thing. We touched on it earlier in some way, but uh, maybe it worth another look. Did you ever have a dog for a garden house or just as a pet? What do you think dog food is made of? <laughs>